questions. What are some of the things that I can use at home for equipment? So I thought I'd give you a few ideas. First off, you can use almost all of your household items around the house if you are creative, but always ask parental permission first. Don't grab something and get in trouble for playing with it later. So the first thing I'm going to show you is some of you asked, what can I use for weights? Well, you can use laundry detergent bottles. You can use gallon jugs. Now, this is a milk jug that I cleaned out and rinsed out. And it's full of water now. But the number one thing before you use these for weights is to make sure that the seals are on tight. So you can do and practice bicep curls with them. You could practice your flies. You can even practice goblet squats, holding your weight and squatting. So these are perfect. Just make sure that the lids are on tight. So you can always use this kind of stuff for weights. Pretty simple. I can even get down and do some renegade rows with them if I wanted to. Now, what is another piece of equipment that you might have at home and you don't know? Well, you have paper plates. Paper plates make great ice skates. You can skate or, well, <laughs> you can skate around the room on them. Or even do some, tw some twists or practice your 360s. Ice skating's fine at home too with a pair of paper plates. If you want, you could also put them on your hands and you can practice doing reach outs. You could also put them on your feet and use them like the slider slide disc that we have at home. <laughs> doing mountain climbers, taking sure your feet are on them. I love you too, buddy. Okay, And using them for different exercises that you would normally use slider plates for. One other piece of equipment you might have at home is socks. Dad socks work great for these because they're big. Roll them up and now you got balls. Pretty cool. You can practice your underhand toss with them into a laundry basket. Tick, step, talk, Statue of Liberty. You could even have somebody hold the basket up and practice your beef. Balance, eyes, elbow, elevator, follow through. Ah, oh, no good. <laughs> You can also set up your very own bowling alley using your toilet paper rolls. I got two beach towels here to make my bowling alley. I'm gonna practice trying to get a strike. So I only have six paper tubes, but if you save up, you could do a full bowling alley. I have a feeling somebody might be getting the bowling ball. So remember rolling is tick, take a step with your opposite foot, Bend and talk. Ooh, no good. All right, I'm gonna try again. Tick, step, talk. Oh, man, Loki. That's all right, we don't give up. Tick, step, talk. Yeah, strike. I did move a little closer. <laughs> so these are just some of the fun things you can do with the things you have all around your house. This is just one of many ideas you could use and have fun with. So I'll give you some more ideas next time. See ya.